Today, Vanessa Orabuena captivates audiences across the country with her powerful speed painting events. Yet her career as an artist almost never happened. For years, Vanessa lived in a lonely and troubled life, and she even tried to end it by suicide. I remember the shame, extreme loneliness and depression, feeling like nobody even cared. I didn't know what it was like to have a, a day without feeling that loneliness and abandonment. Vanessa Orbuena is an accomplished artist and speed painter who works to inspire hope and positivity through her passion for painting. However, her life growing up was anything but positive. Vanessa longed for a genuine relationship with her mother. She was dealing with the grief of losing her mom, which was really hard on her. And then also her and my father's relationship was not so great. She was a little more checked out, just emotionally not present. I had a hard time believing I was loved. Well, I'd watch other um, parents with their children, and I'd remember thinking, wow, like, I wish that was how my mom was with me. The pain Vanessa felt was only compounded when at five years old, she suffered sexual abuse at the hands of certain family members. I had a really, really low self-esteem. It affected my view of men in a major way. I felt very um, on guard with men. The abuse was kept secret and continued periodically for years. Vanessa's trauma eventually turned into anger as she started lashing out at her parents and getting into fights at school. Out of desperation, her mother sent Vanessa to a Christian youth camp when she was 13. There, she experienced the love of Jesus Christ. The first thing that really hit me was the, the encouragement. I just really responded very well. And I was like, wow, this is like, I feel like God's people are amazing. And if this is what God is like, this is what, I mean, I just love him. I gave my life to the Lord and totally came back a different person. Vanessa stopped fighting and put her energy into learning more about God. Her passion for art also developed during this time. Inspired by an older sister in cartoons like The Lion King, Vanessa started drawing. I would feel centered. Um, so it was just a very, very personal, peaceful experience, um, expressing um, how I was feeling or um, things that I really enjoyed through art. Just as Vanessa's attitude and morale began to improve, her home life took a turn for the worse. Her father was caught in an extramarital affair and her mother left the house as a result. The split hurt Vanessa deeply. It was very difficult for me. I had this relationship with God and yet I was, you know, struggling with depression and I attempted suicide at the age of 16. I felt a sense of hopelessness. Vanessa survived her suicide attempt and then went to live with various family members and friends. In spite of everything, she still loved God and eventually got involved in local outreach ministry. That's when the emotional and sexual trauma of her past began to turn into something else. I was 19 years old when I started to struggle um, with my sexuality. I felt safer with women than I felt with men. And so that was a difficult thing for me. And I remember feeling so sad to know that I was disqualified from living out my life for God. Vanessa made sure not to tell anyone. She isolated herself, stopped her ministry work, and gave up on art for eight years until she couldn't take it anymore. I hit a rock bottom where I just was like, I need to get counseling. So I went to counseling with one of my senior pastors. I started to understand just by talking to him where things were coming from for the first time. The pastor reminded Vanessa of God's endless love and compassion. I realized that, that God was, was gentle and kind and that he was gonna walk me through it. It was amazing because I didn't leave feeling, you know, shame. I left feeling, feeling empowered and like free. I felt light. She was also encouraged to pick up her art again and not just drawing, but to try painting as well. So I went home and I set up my easel, I set up my paints, and in two and a half hours, I had finished my first painting. 
I loved it. So yeah, that's how that, that gift just came flowing back into my life. I was like, I am a painter and I, I love it. Vanessa continued to attend counseling and says she overcame the same sex attraction she fought with for years and is now comfortable around men. She also reconciled with her parents who restored their marriage and became born again Christians. For the past nine years, Vanessa has pursued a successful career as an artist, painting Christ-themed pieces. She speed paints at events across the country while listening to worship music. Vanessa says it was only God who was able to heal her wounds and give her life purpose. He's brought me through. I no longer you know, have the same struggles that I used to. I know that I am loved by God. To be in His will, to be in relationship with the Lord is to me the ultimate fulfillment in life. When I worship God, it's my relationship with God on display, basically. People will say, I felt the Holy Spirit when you were painting. I could never thank the Lord enough for all that He's done. But every day I do the best that I can to just love on Him and show Him that. She is remarkably talented and what an amazing testimony. You know, you can love God and still struggle with many things in your life. The great thing is God's love is bigger than that and his desire is to free you from anything that keeps you from wholeheartedly surrendering to him. He's so good. He's worthy of your trust and your thanksgiving even before you see the victory, but know that his heart is for you.